Yo, what's up with it is? This is your boy KC20783, aka Oblivious Sasano. For those who may or may have not known, I have just opened up a Oblivion Gaming Fighting Game Community Chat. Now, what this chat is, is supposed to have casual players with pro players. Well, I guess you could say good players, not pro pro players. But players of all kinds in fighting games who come, share ideas, help each other out, and become friends, and it's so much more. Basically, a family-wise thing, you know? Anyways, but also, the people who actually join this group will actually be sponsored by me. Now, I know what you're thinking here. You're probably thinking, oh, so I get sponsored off the back? No, 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 no. You have to do much more than that. Meaning, you have to participate in in-house activities, and you also have to show for that you're actually qualified to actually be a part of our sponsoring team. There's a difference. We have a sponsoring team, a casual team, and we have a community team. Now, with those being said, the community team is basically those who help out, those who basically want to get a name out on their own, meaning as in without saying they want to be sponsored by us. Maybe they want to be sponsored by somebody else, or maybe they want to be maybe solo. Maybe, you know, because it's not everybody wants to be sponsored by anybody, you know? The casuals, basically people who just want to play just to have fun and just want to learn how to play um, all the fighting games that they actually see that the pro players play. Now, for the people who are actually serious, this is for y'all. This is the message for y'all. For the ones who wants to be serious, who wants that gold, who wants that sponsorship, who wants that Oblivion shirt that has their name on the back of it, you can have it. You can have a spot, actually. But there are things that you have to do, and there's things that you have to participate in. As in, you have to participate in in-house events, meaning that if there's a tournament that I'm basically holding a tournament, or somebody within the team is holding a tournament, please participate. Or if there's a tournament that's, I say, on another site or another group, participate in it. When you participate in tournaments with your name tag, mind you, and we'll get to that later on, it will basically show that you're actually serious and it shows that you take much dedication into actually seeing our name grow and doing the things that we love to do, which is play fighting games. That's one. Two, helping out with the lower tiers. Now, there are lower tiers out there who needs help, some more than others. Take your time out and help them out and see what they need help in. I'm not necessarily asking you to babysit, but I'm asking you to actually become either a mentor or a senpai, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to use the word senpai, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, let's get on to the rules of this whole team slash community. Now, first rule, treat everyone with respect. The second rule. Do not be scared to ask your fellow members for help, meaning that if you need some type of help, it doesn't matter whether it's, hey, I need help with a combo setup, or do you think you can help me with a variation, anything of that matter, don't be afraid to ask. If there's somebody who can help you there, ask away. The third rule, do not reject anyone, meaning as in, such as, Think of it this way, if somebody is crying out to you, asking you for help, please do not reject them, because that is actually cruel and unfair to everybody within the whole community. We want to help people. That is our main goal, is to help people. Not only just to compete, not only just to make a name for ourselves, but to actually build and grow, and to help out one another. You don't want to push people away. So, if you don't have the words to say, say something like, I'm sorry, I do not have the information for you at the current time, but if you allow me to look up the information for you, I'll probably be able to help you. Or, go and ask another mod or a mod who actually specializes in that field. Fourth, 
when you post in a video or a stream, please do not spam it. I really don't like those groups who spam videos and spam stream links all over the place. If you have a video, please post it up. We will have a our we will have our own documents folder where you can post up all your videos and all the streams that you post and it will be there for people to watch. The fifth rule, all fellow members must have a tag clan name. Now, what that basically means is that you have a special name where you actually go online and play rank matches or just practice within the um, team and stuff. It's basically a name so that way we notice you better and people notice you better. Now, you don't have to necessarily play online all the time with this name. Only when there's certain rank matches just to get you up a little bit, to get the clan up or just get the team up a little bit. But if you go into an event, then yes, you must wear the clan or team name that's, that, that's given to you but that you have made up. I mean, I think everybody should know by now about team names and stuff, so we're not going to get into that. For the seventh rule, do not disrespect any mods. Now. There's been a couple of groups that I've been in who mods are being disrespected and mods are disrespecting other members and I don't actually like that. So if there's a problem with a mod and a member, please go to a higher up. This is for the members now. If a mod is disrespecting you, please go to a higher up. If there is not a higher up present at the time, make sure that you have screenshots or a recording of the conversation that led on to the problem and therefore we could better assist you the more proof that you have the more they will plead your case and if your pc or laptop cannot do a simple screenshot then you can just download lightshot at lightshop.com or lightshot.net and if you don't have a recording software then well most likely in the in chats there will be a thing where you can record yourself so you won't have to worry about that eighth rule this is for all the mods now for all the mods do not disrespect any of the members now what this basically is saying is that <clears throat> when there is a problem between a members or between members or between a mod please address them in a calm fashion do not hassle them do not disrespect them or anything try to find out the problem that's led on to the situation from both parties and mind you separate both of the parties away so that way there will be no more conflict Please put them on to the side, away from the members, because when you have members um, talking to a party or both parties in the same room or the same chat with other members, other members tend to get into it and start a little bit of a conundrum, and you don't want that on your hands. So just sit them in another chat and you talk to one party, and then you talk to the other party. And then all the parties come together and then they plead their case with their evidence. Which leads us to nine. When dealing with the next dispute, sorry, when dealing with the dispute, make sure to have your proof of action that was started at that prior time. Now, if you don't have any of your proof, I'm sorry, but I cannot accept any type of word of mouth. That is just not me. It's always better to have some type of proof of your innocence. If you don't have any proof, then I'm sorry, I will have to close your claim and we'll just have to move on with certain activities. And if you do break any of these rules for the following, there will be one warning. If you break one of these rules or more of these rules the second time, you'll be given a three day suspension without being in chat or in game use meaning that you won't not be able to use your team name for any type of events whether it's in-house or whether it's local um, events and of course if you break it I'm sorry if you break the um, 
if you break the rules more than you know more than three times then that would basically lead into either either the following two week suspension with no chat no online events with tag name or a possibility of being banned now we don't want any of our members being banned we don't want any of our people being kicked off the team so it's best to follow the rules in a nice orderly fashion and everything will go out smoothly so i hope this helped y'all to understand the rules and if you didn't understand the rules just play this video back and try to understand it and if there's any questions that you did not understand from this video please contact me contact me on facebook or contact me on my twitter or you know what just leave just click on the description down below and you'll find all the stuff that needed to do contact me this shouldn't be hard but anyways this your boy casey2073 aka oblivious asano and i am signing out peace have a good day and remember the motto of this team step your game up